Hi there, this is Jamie from Time and Space, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Sound Yeti's cinematic synth plugin Ambition, specifically looking at how to create your own presets from scratch and build up a bank of custom patches. Ambition runs within both the free and full versions of Native Instruments Contact 6 and offers a powerful dual channel synth engine in which you can transform and blend emotive, ambient oriented sound sources. The plugin was created with the big screen in mind, so this is a fantastic instrument to use when writing any type of music for media, such as film, game and trailer music. I'm going to go ahead and open Ambition up in contact now and show you the engine. So here is the Ambition GUI and you can see we have our A and B channels here, where we can select a sound source and apply different effects processing to each channel by using these bypass buttons. There are also two independent LFOs which can be different for each channel or you can set one of them as the master and copy the settings across by using this A to B or B to A button. Finally at the bottom are the performance effects which feature three XY pads that allow you to control a filter matrix, delay effect and cabinet speaker. So now let's take a look at some ways in which you can start making your own presets. The first thing you want to do is choose your samples for each channel. So this can be done by manually browsing through the sources or you can also use this randomized samples button. But here I've already selected two samples that sound like this. So from here I want to start manipulating and shaping the sound. So I'm gonna work down throughout the GUI and choose what I want to apply to it starting off with the effects. Now out of the sounds I've selected, channel A I'm imagining as the base of the pad that sits at the bottom. So to help that I'm going to apply a boost in the low EQ on just this channel. And I'm also going to add some saturation using this enhanced setting. Now for the B channel this will be my higher layer that sits on top. So I'll start off by scooping out some of the low end EQ. And then I'm going to add a bit of distortion to give it some grit and a subtle amount of chorus just to make it a little more interesting. Finally in the effects section I want to apply a master reverb to both channels so I can do that by tweaking the settings to exactly how I want them on one channel and then clicking this A to B button which will grey out this side and this is now copying whatever is on channel A. So let's hear how our preset sounds now. Next up on the GUI are the LFOs, so let's apply one to each layer. In the bottom layer on channel A, I want a slowly modulating LFO that subtly changes the tone of the channel over time. You can see here the different options we have for routing the LFO, and I'm going to choose the width and put the rate down low. So over time, the stereo image of the bottom layer will shift between narrow and wide. Now to layer B, I want to apply more of an obvious high rate LFO. I'm going to apply it to the low pass filter with a slow fade in and some resonance, which will produce a cool effect. Let's have a listen to the preset now with the LFOs. Finally, I'm going to add some performance effects, but with these I like to adjust the parameters whilst I'm playing and kind of feel it out and see where I want them to go. So for the next minute or two, I'm going to play some notes and adjust the performance effects as I go so you can hear them in action.
so you can see how drastically these performance effects can change your preset as you play. The final feature that I want to show you in Ambition is this handy keyboard split button which separates channels A and B into different halves of the keyboard, so you can essentially play two different synth lines at once. So now that I've got my preset where I want it, all I need to do is click this Save Snapshot button in Contact, name it, and save. Then when you next open the Snapshot drop down, you can see all the factory presets here and the user ones here. Simple as that. So that is Sound Yeti Ambition, and I hope this video has shown you how quick and easy it is to create your own presets from scratch. There's an amazing selection of sample sources to choose from in Ambition, and lots of ways to process them. So I'd highly recommend taking a further look into this plugin for anyone watching the video who doesn't own it. And you can find plenty more information, audio demos and videos by clicking the link on the description of this video or heading to timespace.com. Thanks for watching.